Hi. More I know like. I know, what a mix up. What, next you're gonna tell me I'm gonna talk about the GDDP? You know how we flow here, you know, with tier list and all that. If you missed the previous installments, do definitely check them out though, because my opinions on levels um, can blow more than they can suck, so to speak. Our first contestant this day is, oh god, really? All right, so this is a mess. Despite the new wave pulse effect that aged better than it should have, to be honest, there isn't much to talk about with Ultra Paracosm. Despite the cool wave effect, the pre-drop still looks like a burnt Play-Doh set. Like, why does the pre-drop look so much worse than the actual drop? I know nice circles levels should be about the wave first and foremost, but come on, that doesn't mean you can make the pre-drop this shit. It's stupid easy, which is most of the reason this level is notable. This might be the easiest nice circles level in the entire game, though there is some competition later in this episode. So leave a like if you know what it is and if you've beaten Ultra Paracosm. That should cover literally all of my bases. C tier. Now, onto the Ice Age we go. Wow, I didn't think that people back in the day also ate glass. Frozen Jawbreaker got re-rated decently recently. Recently, with the introduction of re-rating fossils from back when languages were still in their infancy. You know, for the start of the Roman Empire, this level actually totally does not look that bad. It has some cool theming and some cool ideas here and there. Though the wave is supremely uninspired, that doesn't mean the rest of the level doesn't pull its weight. The pre-drop in particular just looks genuinely cool. We over here only use the most highbrow puns. Get in line, ladies. Cold Wave level is sadly a level that I'm not that familiar with compared to most of its friends and because the wave looks like Sonic Wave black facing, I will only put this level into the C tier. Thankfully, we can get a break from OK levels. This is so bad, like oh my god. God, this click right here is so much harder than it needs to be. It's insane. The hot pick is very hot to my eyes too because they are receiving copious amounts of solar induced radiation rays. Blindness is just a side effect of the might of ultra fairy dust since the gameplay also gives you a very good reason to hire a private therapist. And if for some reason the fire gets put out, there's plenty more where that came from courtesy of this ship part. Vomit inducing pink level really won me over. Instead of F tier, it will go into the E tier. What a mess. Speaking of mess, accurate name. Brian Souls' ass. It's so, it's so f***ing bad. Like, my god, this level H like shit. Just like most of Novel Boy's early 2.0 work, ironically enough. Moving objects and this goddamn color scheme make this seem like Killbot if it never exited puberty. It's like blowing into a Kleenex tissue, but having a slight nosebleed. What it comes down to is that this level just sucks. Gameplay wise that might not be the case, but to be honest I'm not too sure on how this level plays. The moving objects just make this such a dated mess. Plus the deco sucks ass, this is going into the coveted F tier, because Look at it. Put the fetus out of its misery. Speaking of mass destruction, Ultra Circles. I know this is not like the most well-regarded level by most, plus it's considered a bit harder than I would consider it. I will never understand why this is on the hard demon list. This is level is so much easier than people say it is. But hey, at least I'm pretty positive about it. Though it looks deep fried. Because besides the American food crisis, this level is just fun to me. The copious amount of spam could be toned down a bit, but still. This is a level I'm aware isn't the most liked level among the general face user society. But I do like it still. I can't put this into S tier because it has a lot of flaws. And because it looks like a base boost meme, this will go into C tier. Look at it from the bright side. We can also still go significantly lower. This one shit. There's no way around it. Infinite Circles looks like a mistake in a matrix. Why is this level just so f***ing ugly in the first place? For it being potentially the easiest 9 circles level in the entire game, this doesn't make itself very appealing to button pressers. The color scheme is just nice circles if it was made under the influence of Leprechaun cum. The gameplay is nothing to be happy with either because the pre-drop is for some reason the hardest part. Man didn't even get the assignment of making a nice circles level where the wave is hard. Sure, the start has gameplay, but the rest is just so ridiculously easy that I could beat it with my foot. This level sucks ass, E tier. Phew, thank god we got a great remake to supplement the pain. This is like relieving the muscle ache in your left arm by chopping off your right arm. Like yeah, the pain of the first thing is gone, but this is so much worse. God, this is all so stupid. This is just the worst of the worst and a very good contender for the worst V2 any level has ever received. Like this level could go nowhere but up. 
and it still decided to grab a shovel and dig deeper. This is just ultra buffed infinite circles with a beginning part that actually looks finished, a shitload of updates and awful gameplay. There is no reality besides ours that this level would exist in. F tier, no shit. The unnerved version of this level might be the worst rated demon in the entire game ever. It was so bad. Oh my god, it was so bad. Thankfully, that is now considered fantasy bullshit. So let's just get realistic for a minute. This sure is one level I feel split on. On the one hand, it looks cool for a nice circles level and it has memory. On the other hand, the wave is a mess and there's so much invisible shit that even ghosts would get confused by the amount of non-seeable objects and orbs in this one section alone. To be honest, there are levels that I would consider far worse than this one. But there are also other fish in the sea, so instead of just swimming with those, I will just talk about how shit this pre-drop is. The wave is okay, but good lord, what the f*** happened here? Why was there so much inspiration taken from the invisible boatmobile in Spongebob? Floating due to blindness isn't this level's only problem, however, as m the most annoying parts of this are probably still the wave sections. Though the realistic is in some ways two steps forward, it is also two steps back. D tier. Now, after not throwing that into the F tier, I will go to Infernity for an Eternity. The most overrated 9 circles level in difficulty, without question. For me, this felt barely like a hard demon, while everybody else has slight grievances with my opinion on that. Like, come on, all of the other hard demon 9 circles levels I grinded in this period, which was most of them, only took me, like, double the attempt. <laughs> the one exception is the overrated easy demon known as Circulatum, which is closer to a 9 star than hard demon. Difficulty things aside, I do love this level. This first ship is the only part I have massive issues with due to it massively inflating the difficulty of the entire level. But besides that, it's one of my personal favorite 9 circles levels. The gameplay is satisfying, the waves are easy yet satisfying, and the ending isn't silent club step for once. As a person of the people, I do think that the general reception of this Firefest does lower its ranking from A to B tier though. I know, we at the Wild Seal Incorporated listen to what the general glue sniffers have to say. Vote Seal for President 2026. Or considering the political climate in the Netherlands, probably gonna be like in two months. <laughs> The combined energy of all the rage produced from people that have skill issues and beat this level will certainly create a supernova. Now here we have a level that's funky. Another committer of sins with the invisible teleporters and this ship. Though these are quite easy to overlook when judging this piece, mostly due to the gameplay and the wave being smooth as butter and surprisingly ridiculously enjoyable. Like the first practice run I did of this level, I got 64 to 100 without even trying because that part just flows together so well. The pre-drop can't be overlooked however, and while I think the wave might be one of my favorites of any 9 circles level, the mediocre designs and the absolutely god-awful pre-drop gameplay, with some of the worst gameplay concepts I have ever seen, pushes this down a good chunk. Like, come on, this first ship is so annoying, and this ball click sucks ass, and this cube doesn't need any exposition. So yes, quite the polarizing piece of art we have here. D tier. Well, what did we learn? That this is without question the worst chunk? Yes, but we have a lot more to go, which will probably only happen after the release of the 2.2 update. When that has passed, we will come back to the classics, but that's for next time.